Now faith is the assurance of all things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. By it, people of old received commendation. By faith, we believe that all of universe was created by God's word. That what we see is not the product of things that were visible. By faith, Abel offered a better sacrifice than Cain. And through faith, though he was killed, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken up to heaven rather than face death. And before he was taken up, he was commended for having pleased God. And without faith, God cannot be pleased. By faith, Noah, being warned of things that were not yet seen, in reverent fear, he built an ark to save his household. He condemned the earth and was awarded the righteousness that comes through faith. And by faith, Abraham obeyed. God tested Abraham. Abraham, Abraham, here I am. I want you to take your son, Isaac, your only son, the son that you love. I want you to take him to the land of Moriah, to a place that I will point out. And there I want you to sacrifice him as a burnt offering to me. And so, the next morning, Abraham gathered the wood for the fire and he placed it upon the donkey. He gathered the other things that he would need. And then Abraham and Isaac and two servants began their journey to the land of Moriah. They had traveled three days when Abraham, in the distance, saw the land, the mountaintop that the God was pointing out to him. He turned to the servants and said, stay here, the boy and I will go ahead and worship, and then we will return. Abraham took the wood from the donkey and placed it on Isaac's shoulders. And Abraham himself carried the fire, and the knife. They hadn't gone too far. They were traveling up the mountain when Isaac called out, Father, here I am, son. Father, we have the wood and the fire, but where is the lamb to be sacrificed? And Abraham said, God himself will provide the sacrifice. They continued up the mountain top, and when they reached the top, Abraham gathered stones and built an altar. He, ar he arranged the wood upon the altar and then binding the hands and the feet of his son, he placed him upon that wood. And taking the knife in his own hand, he prepared to sacrifice his son. When the angel of the Lord called out, hey, Abraham, Abraham, oh, here I am. Don't hurt the boy. Don't do anything to him. For the Lord God knows that you fear him, that you were willing to do this thing. Abraham looked up and there was a ram. Its horns were caught in the brush. And he took that ram and he placed it upon the altar and sacrificed it. And then Abraham named that place, God will provide. The angel of the Lord spoke again to Abraham. He said, because you have shown your willingness to do this thing, you would not hold your son back from God. I promise you, that you will have more descendants than there are stars in the sky or sands along the shore. 
Your descendants will have the gate of their enemy, and through your descendants, all people will receive blessing. Because you have listened to the voice of God and showed that you were willing to obey. Abraham and Isaac came down from the mountain. They joined the servants, and the four of them returned to Beersheba.